Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Ladinos, Black Americans, Jews of Color, Shalom. Peace, the book of James, verse 1, chapter 1. James, a servant of God of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad greeting the first blacks in the Americas 1492 1501 post Columbian or after Christopher Columbus Ladinos and Bozeles. The first blacks in the Americas, the African presence in the Dominican Republic, Ladinos and Bozeles. Ladinos, the term referred in general to the blacks who were familiar in general with the religion cultures and languages of Castile, Spain, or Portugal, either because of having been born and raised in those territories or due to long contact with or exposure to these cultures. Blacks with no familiarity with the Iberian or Spanish in Portuguese cultures and languages, typically those brought straight from Africa were called Bozeles. Bozeles. Ladinos. During these first years of the colonization of the Americas, the Spanish crown tried to limit the arrival of blacks into the Americas to only Ladinos. Ladinos. Ladinos and Bozeles. I would like to repeat this statement for clarity. During these first years of the colonization of the Americas, the Spanish crown tried to limit the arrival of blacks into the Americas to only Ladinos. Only Ladinos and not Bozeles were permitted to come over to America and be servants, slaves, free men, etc. But the restriction lasted only a short time because the Spanish crown could not control the Ladinos. More information can be found on this time period in the book Reversing Cell, A History of the African Diaspora, Michael A. Gomez.
Reversing Sales, page 94 and 95. Regarding slavery in Spanish-held territories, Hispaniola, or the Dominican Republic in Haiti today, was probably the first site to which enslaved Africans were brought early in the 16th century. And Ladinos or Africans with some command of either Spanish or Portuguese were the first to be imported but as early as 1503, Nicholas de Avando, Hispanola, first royal governor, petitioned Spain to stop sending Ladinos to Hispanola because they were suspected of exciting revolt. Instead, de Avando requested the importation of Bozeles or raw unculturated Africans directly from West Africa. The governor did not appreciate, however, that Ladinos and Bozeles were coming out of the same region, Senegambia. In the former, the Ladinos' familiarity with European cultures was mitigated by their shared cultural ties with the latter or the Bozeles. The Ladinos and the Bozeles have been intermarrying for years. Both groups were Jews, one from Spain and Portugal, the Bozeles from West Africa. And with Islam as an important factor, they use Islam as a form of communication between the two groups. The revolts therefore continued under the leadership of Ladinos was causing the Bozeles to revolt against Spain. And it was not until 1513 that the Spanish began to import Africans from West Central Africa, the, Kingo, the Kingdom of Congo. The problem was the people of West Central Africa were Catholics. Ladinos knew these people well. They also have been intermarrying for years. By 1514, there were some 1,000 Ladinos and Bozeles in Hispanola, or the Dominican Republic in Haiti, along with 689 Europeans. In 1503, Governor Nicolas de Ovando petitioned Spain to stop sending Ladinos to Hispanola because they were suspected of inciting revolt. Governor de Ovando asked Spain to stop sending over Ladinos. They were not able to control this particular group of people. This is an image of the Haitian Revolution that took place on the island of Espanola. From the very beginning, the Ladinos were inciting the Bozales to revolt. And the Ladinos also had a role, an important role in the French exile or banishment from the island of Haiti. The Ladinos at the time were referred to as mulattoes or free people of color. Black Ladino, Black Ladinos, Spanish, Negros Ladinos, were Hispanicized Black Ladinos, exiled to Spanish America. After having spent time in Spain, they were referred to as Negros Ladinos, cultivated or Latinized Blacks. As opposed 
two Negros Bozales, uneducated blacks. Those captured in Africa, uneducated to the European ways of Spain and Portugal. The Ladinos skills granted them a higher price than those of Bozales. Black Ladinos born in the Americas, including North America, were Negros Criolos, Creole Blacks, Creoles of Color, Creoles, Creoles of Color, Free People of Color, Atlantic Creoles, Luso Africans, Christos or New Christians, and Portuguese. For more history on the Ladinos and the many names that they were known under, you can read the book Atlantic Africa and the Spanish Caribbean, 1570 to 1640 by David Wheat. On page 229, Sustained exposure to Portuguese culture transformed some coastal African communities, producing multilingual and knowledgeable individuals, such as those identified by Ira Berlin as Atlantic Creoles, who would have been known in African and Luso African, Luso means Portuguese, Portuguese African context as Ladinos, Christos, or New Christians, or simply Portuguese. But the term Ladino was a byword. To understand the real ethnic origin of the Ladinos, we must turn to the book, The Rise of the Transatlantic Slave Trade in Western Africa, 1300 to 1589 by Toby Green. Ladino, non-Iberians or non-native Spanish or Portuguese. For example, Jews, slaves, who speak Spanish, or in this case, the Jewish slaves or Ladinos who speak Spanish. Ladinos, Ladino, non- Iberians, for example, Jews, slaves, who speak Spanish. 